Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Well, since it's October, we're two months away from the end of the year. You're gonna see me doing a lot more videos of homes that are moving ready, because frankly, that's the best bang for the buck you can get because you get the builders where they're desperate to move homes, especially when they're completed homes like this one. And this house does meet that little holy trinity of uh, leverage toward the buyer. Um, this builder, Highland Homes, only has four houses left in this community of Mesa Western, Cibolo, Texas, and they're pulling out of the community. We're at the end of the year and it's a completed home. So it checks off all three. The house we're looking at today is the 213D plan. It is almost 2,800 square feet, four bedroom, three bath house. They're currently asking 673. But with their incentives they've got going on, it's now $20,000 off of that. And because they're desperate, I'm sure as uh, if you've got a good realtor, hopefully call me, um, we can get that negotiated down even more because builders do not want to sit on completed homes like this. Anyway, this is a beautiful home. I can't wait to show it off. Let's head out front, start the tour. Now Highland Home does build a gorgeous home and this isn't a big community but it's so convenient to everything in the Church Cibolo area. If you've seen, uh, I've done a motorcycle tour of this community, I'm going to put that right up here. Uh, you are 16 minutes away from Randolph Air Force Base. Cibolo 1103 is right there and just going down uh, Green Valley Road. Uh, you can get into this church area. Also easy access to I-35. So if you need to go up to New Braunfels or uh, Austin, that is so easy just going straight up to I-35 off that direction. But this is, uh, you're not gonna see really, they're wide lots. So as you can tell, your neighbors aren't like real stacked up on top of you, but you're not gonna have the deepest backyard. But that does cut down your lawn mowing uh, if you're trying to, kind of have a big beautiful home but not a big yard to maintain anyways i like so much about this community it's just a real quiet tucked away community but you're still right in the heart of the church symbol area all right let's head on inside now tax rate hoa fees all that stuff i'm gonna have that information at the end of the slides don't click off when i start doing my wrap up but what i do want you to do is hit that like and subscribe button right now before you forget about it at the end that definitely does help out a lot beautiful doors uh it's not a double door uh but it is a gorgeous door coming in and i love the entryway in here like I said, as i'm filming this what is it uh two october uh, so this house is moving and ready right now. There's only one minor flaw that I saw in this house and I'll point that out when I get to it. So yeah, if you're a construction manager or if you're looking to build a 213 plan, definitely make sure you point this out to them. But tall ceilings, this would be your office. I didn't hit the light on here, but we got plenty of light coming in through these windows. So I do like the little kind of slanted French doors coming in there. But yeah, this will be your view from the office. Up front, tucked away from everybody, but not too bad. Also up front, you're gonna have one bedroom. Tall ceilings in here. Like I said, good size window and your own private bathroom for this bedroom, which is so important if you got long-term guests or teenagers that want to have a little more privacy. They haven't fixed that yet, but we do have, I can see the light thing in the closet there full shower and a pretty decent sized closet for what you get. So perfect for that teenager that's going to school, say at like Texas State up in San Marcos, not too far away, but um, low taxes, like so all this information can be on the final slide, but you're looking at just under 2%, but really a cool looking house. One of the things that makes it so cool is this room. It's gonna have your own uh, I've seen Highland do this as a little movie room and it's just perfect for that. So yeah, you could easily put a big screen up on there and uh, try not to hit it with the door, but it's already wired for speakers up top. I can see like where your center and side speakers are there. And let's see if we got any more speakers hidden away. Yep, you got rear speaker wires already ran in the back part of this. So this is easy set up for your movie room if you wanted to do that. All right, coming down this hallway, you got some extra little storage spots. And here's where my critique for this is. 
Um, you've got everyone wants more storage, but if they had just put an outlet in here, that would have been such an easy fix because as even if you've got hardwood floors, those Dyson vacuum cleaners are so nice for keeping your wood floors done. But just being able to have the little charger thing put in here would be just absolute perfect. Either put it in there or into this storage room because there's no outlets in here either. But yeah, if you don't have a Dyson, don't worry about it. But if you are looking to build this plan, definitely insist on having an outlet in one of those closets just so you can plug your Dyson in and keep it charged up at all times. All right, coming into the kitchen. Big, beautiful kitchen. Love the arch that they've got going on up top. Love the pendant lights. This is not a gas community. Uh, so you're gonna have electric cooktops and everything in here is Electrolux brand. So that's a pretty high-end brand. And I do love the fact they have one of the upgraded cabinets up there with the fancy lights and so once you put whatever you're gonna decorate in there, just count on you're never touching that again because it's so far up. We do have our big single basin sink. Your dishwasher also Electrolux. Now this is something new that um, the regs came out that you had to have uh, your outlets coming out of the front. That's new for 2024. That's not a builder thing, that's a uh, requirements they don't want you having the outlets on the sides anymore because i guess uh, they decided that could be easy to pull off but one of the things i do like is they got a little extra drawer space on this island just like that and they got the same on the other side over there turning around you got your dual ovens and they're not stacked really crazy high but you do have your microwave up here and i'm not going to sit here and try to figure out how Oh, there it is. Okay, it's just open it up. So you do have your microwave. I'm 5'9". This is my eye level right here. So you do have to reach up a bit to get to that microwave. It does not come with a refrigerator. Sorry to let you know that. All right, let's go see. Let's not forget the pantry. Good size pantry. About the same square footage as your typical corner pantry. We've got the garage over here. Now, I mentioned it's got a three-car garage. This garage is going to be a tandem garage. So you're going to have this one single bay back here. So you'd have to have uh, butt-to-toe type cars going that direction. Two water heaters, plum for water softener. And then coming around, you've got more space. And then I'm not going to go up in the attic, but this is a stick-built house. So that's why you got such a tall attic in there but lots and lots of space up there for extra storage if you wanted it. Remember this house is on the market right now and this builder is wanting to get it moved. So definitely come and reach out to me and we can make an offer on it. Laundry room, love the flooring in here. Plenty of space in this laundry room. We'll look at that in a little bit. But I like, also like this little extra built-in space here. Really nice. Put your bottles of wine right there. And more little decorative stuff. All right, let's go check out these other bedrooms. Eight foot doors throughout, because as you can tell, we do have really tall ceilings and you definitely want eight foot doors if you've got tall ceilings. All right, these are gonna be the other bedrooms. We got a pretty good sized closet. And like I said, nice tall ceilings. All these lights are gonna be blocked for a ceiling fan if you wanted to take the like builder's grade light out and put a really nice ceiling fan. You definitely can do that relatively easy. Uh, dual vanities, there's that light fixture that's not up in the other bathroom. And your shower tub combo for this bathroom. This other bedroom, it's gonna be kind of a mirror of what we saw in the last one. Like I said, same closet. All right, let's head on out to the back porch and show that off. Oh, I also got to point out the placement of the fireplace. I actually do like that a lot because when you see, I do like balance, but if you had it right here, then you're trying to figure out where you're putting your TV. So they do have it tucked off to the side and plenty of space for your TV or big screen, whichever direction you wanted to go with. 
All right, good size patio. Once again, you can see it's blocked for a ceiling fan, but you already have your four can lights out here. Nobody back behind you, and as of uh, October 2024, there's nothing planned for here just yet, but of course that could change. Now remember at the beginning of the video, I mentioned this is not a very deep yard. It does have a full sprinkler system. Oh, I just noticed this does have a, kind of that faux wood, so it's definitely gonna last a lot longer especially if you were using pressure treated wood, the, these steps are gonna last a lot longer. So definitely very quiet uh, space back here. The sun does west is off this direction. So if you were worried about that, uh, you can easily put up here one of those like electric uh, push a button and the little solar screen comes down blocking the sun, but the sun would only really be affecting kind of half of this porch. So you can figure out how you want your furniture based on that. And that also really only affects you uh, like four or five months out of the year when it really. Yeah. All right, into the master bedroom. This one, they already have the ceiling fan in here. It's a pretty one, tall, tall windows. But this is also the church symbol school district. You've got an elementary school right around the corner. Uh, this high school would go to Steel High School. And if you're not big into public schools, there are several charter schools. My daughter, she's 11. She's going to School of Science and Technology, which is also right down the road. All right, dual vanities, big old soaking tub. You might want to put some blinds up there. So in case uh, you don't uh, wake up the neighbors by hello, somebody. But you also have a makeup station right there with your little overhead light. Mud inset shower means they kind of cut that floor into the foundation. Beautiful shower. I definitely like the little arch up there. Your water closet away from the bedroom. I had a client and that was one of his pet peeves is if the toilet was right next to the bedroom, he was not down for that. He would have, he'd like this a lot better, a little separation because some sounds you don't want to be heard if your spouse is in the bed. All right, speaking of, uh, well, this is a really nice size closet. Plenty of space in here. If you're wanting more closet space for more hangups, it, it'd be super easy to kind of bring this down some or bring this one up and then add another row of hanger, another bar down here that's what we had to do just to really double my sp closet space but yeah lots of space in here and it's not my true sneaky need but it does give you easy access to the laundry room by going through here it's not right right in the laundry room but it's plenty easy to get to the laundry room from your master bedroom closet this can be a little hub center where all your ethernet cables and modems, all that stuff can come right into here. One of our really do like this house, especially if um, you could negotiate it down even more right now with the current offerings, it's, it's, it's I can't talk anymore, would be around 653. But, like I said, the builders want to get this move, so if you're interested, we could definitely uh, go down a little bit. All right, don't click off just yet, because remember, right after I finish my wrap-up, it's gonna have all my contact information slide and a whole bunch of information about the community, the builder, the other incentives they're offering, so just be patient. You'll see that information in a second. But I gotta do this first. I gotta ask for that. Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, if you know somebody moving to the Shirt Cibolo area, 16 minutes from Randolph Air Force Base, or even New Braunfels, Bolverde, Bernie, and they don't already have a real estate agent, and I'd be happy to help um, the builders. They're gonna pay my commission fees, so it does not cost you anything, and no, they don't lower the price if you don't use a realtor that's already baked into the marketing cost. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Talk to you soon. Take care now, <laughs> bye.